Well, here we are, the next to the last race on the FedEx Nationwide season. Bringing us to Bristol Motor Speedway, Bristol, Tennessee, for the night race. It's the Food City 250 here at Bristol, Tennessee. And Jake Sears going into this race, starts in this race in the fifth position, by the way. He has a 36-point lead, or 1.3 races. So if he can hold the advantage like that, that advantage, or gain any points, he will clinch this season one championship of the FedEx Nationwide Series. Uh, John Dawson, he hopes to have a little bit of a say about to that in the 11 car. He starts in the 8th spot, by the way. On the pole, by the way, is Robbie Hardy in the 88. Alongside of him is Tim Frederick in the 29 car. In row 2, the Roush teammates of Domingo Migawate and Robbie Bogus, then Jake Sears and Dylan Hughes, and then row 4 is Emilio Navarrett and... John Dawson in the 11. 25 laps around Bristol. Saw a wild race here the last time he was at Bristol for the FedEx Nationwide Series. And here we go. And rain flag waves. And here we go. And Domingo Migawate got a better start than Tim Frog. Then he goes right by him. And Domingo goes on in the inside of Robbie Hardy in the 88. And Robbie bounces off the wall. And Domingo is going to take the lead. And Jake Sears, he's going to make a statement. Jake Sears make a statement, a statement, and that statement is saying he wants to put away the FedEx Nationwide Series Championship. It'll be the second one ever for, it'll be the third one ever for Team Sears. Actually, fourth, because Ashley has got three. Her, his sister, she won the Season 5 Championship of the Pepsi Racing Series, Season 3 Championship of the Castle GTX Cup Series, and Season 1 Championship of the True Value of the True Value Dodge International Race of Champions. So Team Sears is here lately has been a custom of winning. Ooh, Marco Rossi got close to Justin Perry in the 18 car. Matthew Eric Matthews our Indy winner gets close to the wall. The night races at Bristol seems like it just calms down on the action sometimes, you know, as opposed to the date races at Bristol. That's why we haven't seen any cautions yet. We are on lap. We have completely clicked off already seven laps of this race, but Racer DSM, the Mendumiga Wate, has the lead. And the number six, Ricky versus Trevor Ford, started third and is running away with the show right now. But Jake Sears right now is right where he wants to be if he wants to clinch the FedEx Nationwide Series Championship. And he won't have to show up. And if that happens, he won't have to show up at Homestead Miami Speedway, the last stop on the tour, the Ford EcoBoost 300. Part of Ford Championship Weekend. As I said before, Jake Sears has a 36-point lead. And the, doesn't seem like much, but 36 points on a one-point structure. That's a huge difference, and he's got three wins. Everybody else seems to have just one, so. <laughs> Robbie Boggus right now runs third there in the 17 car. There's Emilio Nabret running fourth. Fifth is James Acosta. Jacqueline Duhamel having a great run in sixth. Skylin Carlson running seventh. She's having a very good run. Robbie Hardy, our pole sitter for the event, is dropped to eighth. The outside pole sitter, Tim Fralick, is ninth. And Cement Oscon in the 10, 30 car, he runs 10th. Not a good season so far for Cement Oscon, but but good run so far at Bristol. He's had a couple top 10s. And there's Nicholas Guerrero in 11th and Ashley Sears in 12th. Servon Sarian in 16th, runs 13th, and Yokohama Kato, Dylan Hughes, Zach Carlson, Josh Sears. John Dawson dropped to 18th. Bridget Vallejo runs 19th. She's been in a bit of a slump. Joey Tanker in the 20. Scholar Harris in the 9. Max Skinner. Merrick Matthews. Hannah Smith in the 24. She's slumped very bad lately. Marco 
Joe Rossi, then Sarvan, Saran Tahari, and then Justin Perry runs dead last. He does not want, he doesn't like this at all. So far, a smooth outing of Bristol, so far, caution free, which is unusual for this track. And right now, it's the, it's the Racer DSM show, the Minion Iguate. As late, Jake Sears trying to close up, though, on the 44 car in a Ford versus Chevy battle. But Racer DSM knows he has got seven laps to go. Six when it comes to the stripe. And the laps here, click here, Bristol, do click off very, very fast at 15 seconds a lap. But with one race remaining in this series, though, just Jake Sears in that 44 car, we focus in on him. He runs second right now, but he knows if he keeps his way, he's not going to have to show up for Homestead. He's got, like I said, a huge points lead. He's going to have to hold on for the last three laps in this race. He may not catch Racer DSM, but the big picture is within an air shot, is, is within an eye shot for Jake Sears, the FedEx National Life Series Championship. And any break in contrast can spell disaster for him. Two laps to go for Racer DSM, Domingo Miguelwate. And his real name, I should say, he sees the white flag. Now he has one lap remaining in the race. And the first win for the team of Ricky versus the Ricky versus Trevor team, I should say, for Roush Fenway Racing. And Domingo Miguelwate comes out of turn number four. He is going to win the Boot City 250. And there's Jake Sears going across the line. And by mathematical calculations, he has officially clinched the FedEx Nationwide Series Championship with still one race remaining. Unbelievable season for Jake Sears. Already the champion with still one race remaining. But a great win for the number six Roush Family Ford of Domindu Migawate. Racer, A.K.A. Racer DSM. He finishes... First here at Bristol, Tennessee. Average speed, 132 and a half. And there it is. The Mendo Miguelwate wins the race. Jake Sears, Robbie Boggess, Emilio Nabrit. Good run for him finishing fourth. J James Acosta, good run for Team Acosta finishes fifth. Then Jacqueline Duhamel, Skylon Carlson, Robbie Hardy, a pulse are a disappointing eighth. But a good run for him. Tim Furlick finishes ninth. Cement Oscon, a good run for him in tenth. Nicholas Guerrero, 11th. Ashley Sears, in what was otherwise for her been a spotty season, season finishes 12th. And then Servan Sarian, Yokohama Kato, Dylan Hughes, and then there's the rest of the finishing order. Justin Perry brings up a dead last position. One race remains Ford Championship Weekend, the Ford EcoBoost 300 at Homestead Miami Speedway. Don't miss it. <laughs> 